Okay, welcome back. My name still remains Chris Njoku. As we move deeper into a cell, we want to look at another function that is quite interesting and very important in your work with a cell. This function is known as sum if. Sum if. Okay. Sum if. How do you use sum if? Using this data, we have tried to look at count if and every other um uh, a cell function that we can lay a hand on. And so we want to move further by looking at sum if. Okay. From this data, we want to sum if a certain criteria is met. What is the criteria here? We have data for three columns, name, job, and experience. Now, we can decide to know the total number of years a particular job profile has. For example, in this data, we have um, programmer three years, programmer three years. And so, we also have another programmer here that has five years experience. We have another programmer that has 14 years experience. We want to know the total years of experience combined together that programmers have. The Excel sum E function comes to play. How does it work? You're telling a cell that if a certain criteria is met, what is the criteria? The criteria here now is programmer. That is the first criteria. And then, if that criteria is met, programmer, the next thing to do is sum the years of experience. Sum the years of experience. If this criteria is met. The next thing, sum years of experience. Bringing this out in detail for understanding. I'm going to explain this one more time. We are trying to sum the total years of experience of a particular job profile. And we want to use the programmer to do it. And so we are trying to tell a cell that look at this data properly and then single out a particular job profile, which is a programmer. And then sum up the years of experience of all the programmers in this data series. And so in doing that, a cell needs two things from you. One, tell a cell the job description to target, which is the number one criteria, which I've written here, criteria programmer. And then if that is met, a cell will now move forward to do the next action which is to sum up all the years of experience of any staff that has job title programmer. I know that this might be kind of difficult for anyone that is a beginner in a cell, 
but if you can take your time to go through this video over and over again i bet you will understand it and then move forward now let's move straight to the job at hand scroll down to the total experience for programmer engineer we can add as many as possible so this is how we go about it we'll say equals to some if what is our first range our range here now is the job description which is from b b3 to b21 so we'll select it yeah, this is the job uh, profile and then we we'll put a comma sign now what are we actually targeting what are we looking at for we are looking at for a programmer we are looking at for a programmer and so we scroll down to a35 that is where we wrote down the programmer so we can type a35 or we click on a35 like this so we have done two things we have gotten the range of the data and then we have also gotten the criteria look at this very well we have gotten the range of the data we have gotten the criteria which is we are looking at programmer the next action now is to sum the years of experience of this person so we we'll put comma here and then in order to sum it we now go back and refer to the years of experience column and also select it like we did so we we'll select the years of experience and then we we'll close the brackets so what have we done here now look at this very well we have done three things one the range of the data for job description itself and then we went further to select the particular job description we are targeting which is a programmer we have written it on a cell so this is the cell reference for it a35 and then the next thing we do is that a cell look through the years of experience of every job description here and single out programmers we'll press our enter key because we're done with the details it gives us 36.2 as the total um, years of experience of the programmers in this file we can help ourselves by trying to check if what we did is correct we can just drop our cursor here and try to sum up the years of all programmers using our operator it's very easy for us to do we can say equals and then we click on each of the programmer years you can see this now we click on it and we say plus this is another programmer plus another programmer plus another programmer plus we scroll up another programmer plus another programmer plus the scroll up the programmers again plus and then another programmer here and that is all so we we'll close the bracket and then we we'll press enter 
Okay, I said the same. We found a typo in the formula and tried to correct it. Okay, let's look at where we would have made error. Okay. You can see, summing it manually, we got the same figure. 36.2, 36.2. This is just how straightforward Excel is. Tell Excel what to do. Arrange it properly for Excel, and Excel will deliver optimally. So, this is just how to use the sum if function. Now, we can as well move forward by trying out our skill with engineer. Now, this is the engineer. We can do the same thing we did. We say equals sum if. We select the range of job description. Bring a comma. What next do we do? We tell ourselves what criteria we're looking for. Our criteria in this case now is engineer. And so we just click on this cell A36 where we have written engineer. So you can reference it very well. So A36 comma. So where else are we going? We're looking at the years of experience of engineers and we're going to get it from the years of experience column. So we select the range there as well, and then we we'll close the bracket, and then we we'll press enter key. It gave us 26 as a year of experience. Now we can check this manually by dropping our cursor here and we'll say equals. It starts with this plus is another one plus. Is another one plus is another engineer plus let's see check if there's another there is none again so we end there and remove this last plus sign and close the bracket you can see you see, it say has returned 26 for us, so it tallies. So this is just how to play around the sum if function. Take time and look through it over and over. You will have a good understanding of this. Thank you.